everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new mascara by Maybelline. This is the Falsy Push Up Drama Mascara. I saw this um, on the internet. I really couldn't resist picking up and getting it because it's a new Falsies <laughs> mascara. I got it in waterproof as always. And this is in number 307, very black. I also kept the packaging. So what's different about this one, I guess it's more of the brush and you, I'll show it to you on the packaging here. The bristle kind of looks like that, like a little cup. And it's called Push Up Cup. I feel like they're talking about a bra. <laughs> push Up Cup Brush. And it's supposed to push up your lashes, lift them up, and also give you volume at the same time. Um, something else that says in the back, it's a new creamy plumping formula. Delivers instant volume and holds lift in place. So, and it's also a safe for contact lens wearers. So, let's go ahead and look at the bristle. It's that harder plastic bristle. And I don't know if my camera will focus or not. Let's hope it does. Wait for it to focus. Okay, I'm having a hard time getting my camera to focus. But the bristle is pretty much as how they depict it on the packaging here. And I do find that it does help lift my lashes. And before I apply mascara, I always curl my lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, my lashes are curled, so let's go ahead and get on with the application. Right now, because the mascara is new, the uh, formula is still quite wet. But I know that once it starts to dry out a little bit, the more I use it, it's going to not be as wet anymore but the wetness of the formula even though it's brand new it really hasn't weighed my lashes down so this is what I why I really really like waterproof mascara and also on the downside is that the tube dry, does dry out a little bit faster than regular mascara One coat, you can see, definitely lifts my uh, lashes up and it does create, from what I can see, a significant amount of volume and I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry a little bit and I'm going to do this eye. Okay, and that's the second, that's one coat on this eye. And then I'm just gonna go back and just apply a little bit more on this eye. That's with two coats on both eyes, and that's about as much as I'll do. Now that we're done with the application, the only other information I have, my experience with this mascara, it doesn't flake, which is really, really great. Um, I didn't really have a hard time getting used to the bristle. The bristles are a little bit shorter. There's no comb like I'm really, really used to right now the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. So I'm really liking that lash comb effect because also it means that I don't have to go in with separately lash comb and comb it out. This mascara, the only problem I can see some people having is that it can cause some clumping. For me, I don't mind it because my lashes needs both volume and length and, and lift, I guess. It needs a lot. So the fact that it looks slightly clumpy, um, but not like sp spidery, if you know what I mean, I am actually okay with, and if ever it does look a little too clumpy for my liking, I can go in with a lash comb and just comb it out. Uh, it doesn't smudge, it is waterproof again, and it does stay, keep my lashes lifted all day. I actually, one morning, I ran out of time getting ready for work, so I didn't have time to, I decided to skip the eyelash curler part. And I found that this mascara and the bristle combined, I guess, was actually able to lift 
my lashes significantly, which is good because that eliminated, you know, a couple minutes in my routine, which is great. And who wouldn't want that in the morning when you're running late? So all in all, for me, I really do like this mascara. Is it gonna, you know, kind of take over and pass some pass up some of my other favorite mascaras? I don't know yet. I would need a little bit longer with this mascara. I've only been testing it for about a week and a half. But right now, I really do like it. So just remember that, keep that in mind if you don't like the clumping look or your lashes you know, clump up easily with mascara, you might want to stay away from this one. But if you have lashes like mine, they're short, they're thin and they're sparse and um, they're straight, which means they don't really hold curls very well, um, this may be something you want to try out. You should be able to find this mascara in your various drugstores, Target, CVS, Walgreens. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe and share. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter and Instagram at Wendy Lee Zaney. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.